Thank you for opting my video. In this video, I'm going to teach you single displacement reactions and double displacement reactions. Chemical reactions are of different types like combination reaction, decomposition reaction, single displacement reaction and double displacement reaction. In the last video, I've explained you about combination and decomposition reactions and in this video, I'll be teaching you single displacement and double displacement reactions. Consider a compound AB reacts with an element C. Here the reactivity of the element A in compound AB and element C are different. A is less reactive when compared to the element C. And now let's see what is the product formed. CB plus A. As the element C is more reactive than A, it tries to replace the element A in the compound AB. And these type of reactions in which one element replaces the other element due to its high reactivity is known as single displacement reaction. A single displacement reaction is a chemical reaction in which one element replaces another element in a compound. Single displacement reaction can occur between a metal and metal which is known as metal-metal displacement reaction. When the same takes place between a metal and a non-metal, we call it as metal-non-metal displacement reaction. Before we get to know the examples for a single displacement reaction, it's important to know about the reactivity series. In the reactivity series, metals will be arranged in their order of reactivity varying from the metals of higher reactivity to the metals of lower reactivity. In this reactivity series, you can see that carbon and hydrogen which are non-metals are also placed along with the metals in the reactivity series. Have you ever thought why? The reason is, in a single displacement reaction which occurs between a metal and a non-metal, you should be knowing the reactivity of a non-metal with respect to the metal involved. And here is a simple way for you to remember the metals in the reactivity series. Please stop calling me a callous zebra. Instead, try looking how cats save goat. A reactivity series is a series of metals in the order of reactivity from highest to lowest. Let's discuss few examples in which metal-metal displacement takes place. In a metal-metal displacement reaction, highly reactive metal replaces the metal of low reactivity from its solution. Here is an example in which iron nail is placed in the aqueous medium of copper sulphate. Look at the reactivity series for the position of iron and copper. We can see that iron is placed high in the reactivity series than copper. It means iron is more reactive than copper. As iron is more reactive than copper, it will try to replace copper from copper sulphate solution. Now let's look at the product. Ferrous sulphate plus copper. We can also see that this reaction is accompanied by a color change from blue to brown due to the displacement of copper by iron. Here is another example for a single displacement reaction, lead nitrate plus iron. Check out the position of iron and lead in the reactivity series. So iron is more reactive than lead. So iron will try to replace lead from lead nitrate solution owing to its high reactivity. Copper sulphate plus aluminium. Aluminium is higher in the series than copper. So it will try to replace copper from copper sulphate solution and giving the products aluminium sulphate and copper. Copper chloride plus lead. Lead is more reactive than copper when we look at the reactivity series. So the products are lead chloride plus copper because lead is more reactive than copper. Iron sulphate plus copper. Let's now check the position of iron and copper in the reactivity series. Iron is placed higher in the reactivity series when compared to copper. So it means that copper is less reactive than iron. So it cannot displace iron from iron sulphate solution. So there is no possibility for the reaction to occur. So no reaction as copper is less reactive than iron. 
Here are few more examples for single displacement reaction. You can pause the video and make a note of all these examples. Let's discuss few examples for metal nonmetal displacement reaction. So here are two examples. In the first one, hydrochloric acid reacts with sodium and in the second one, H2SO4 that is sulfuric acid reacts with potassium. Let us now look into the position of hydrogen, sodium and potassium in the reactivity series. Potassium and sodium are highly reactive than hydrogen. So both these metals will try to replace hydrogen from their respective acids. Sodium chloride plus H2, potassium sulfate plus H2. Sodium and potassium are more reactive than hydrogen. Let us now move on to the next type of chemical reaction. Consider a compound AB reacts with another compound CD. In both these compounds, A and C are positive ions which are known as cations. B and D are negative ions which are known as anions. And now both the cations A and C will try to switch places giving rise to two new products CB and AD. These kind of reactions in which two cations or two anions switch places to form two new compounds are called as double displacement reactions. Here is an example of a double displacement reaction. Two compounds silver nitrate and potassium chloride are reacting by switching the places of their respective cations to form two new compounds silver chloride and potassium nitrate. The downward arrow next to silver chloride indicates the formation of precipitate. So in a double displacement reaction two compounds react and the positive ions or the negative ions of the two reactants switch places forming two new compounds or products. Here is another example of a double displacement reaction. Silver nitrate reacts with sodium chloride. So here silver and sodium are the cations. They try to switch their places giving rise to two new products silver chloride and sodium nitrate. Silver chloride is the precipitate here. Lead nitrate reacts with potassium iodide. Lead and potassium switch their places to form two new compounds lead iodide as the precipitate along with potassium nitrate. In all the examples what we have discussed so far for double displacement reaction, one of the products formed is a precipitate. So we can say that double displacement reaction is accompanied by the formation of precipitate. But not all the time. Let us see what are the other changes which will happen during a double displacement reaction. In this example, sodium sulphide reacts with hydrochloric acid to form sodium chloride and hydrogen sulphide gas. So this double displacement reaction is accompanied with the evolution of gas. Here is another example for a double displacement reaction. Hydrochloric acid reacts with sodium hydroxide forming two new products sodium chloride and water. This is an example of a simple neutralization reaction. So we can say that neutralization reaction is a form of double displacement reaction. In this video we have seen single displacement reaction in which one element replaces another element in a compound. Reactivity series in which the metals are arranged in the order of their reactivity from higher to lower. Double displacement reaction in which two cations or two anions switch their places to form two new compounds. And also double displacement reaction is accompanied by the formation of precipitate, evolution of gas or the neutralization process. In my next video, I'll be teaching you oxidation and reduction reactions. If you like my video, then kindly do subscribe my channel. Thank you.